I have played Dying Light 2 when it first came out all the way back in 2022 and I still play it to this day in 2024 because I uploaded my first Dying Light 2 video on January 7th, 2024 which after that video did really well, I decided to upload my next video then I realized that a lot of my viewers and subscribers absolutely love the Dying Light 2 content which made me go and upload a new video on Dying Light 2 which was called Dying Light 2 at Night is Terrifying Now then after that, I uploaded a Bloody Ties video on Dying Light 2 after uploading all these other videos, the next minute Dying Light 2 finally released their Nightmare Mode, which I uploaded a video on April 26, 2024. Then so on, I made a new video, which was a new event that Teclan added in a couple of weeks ago. And I also did two videos of the community maps as well. And after doing all of those videos throughout the months, I can clearly say that Dying Light 2 is a really good f***ing game to play in 2024. And obviously for today's video, we are playing... come to my attention that a lot of you guys that watch my videos really want more Dying Light 2 content. And that's what I'm exactly doing. What's up guys, my name's Jonathan and welcome back to some more Dying Light 2. Thank you! And like what I said on like my previous videos, yes I have talked about Dying Light 2 so much and why I love playing Dying Light 2, why Dying Light 2 is a good game and mainly my first Dying Light 2 video that went absolutely insane on the views and everything. And I basically wanted to do a follow up on Dying Light 2 from that main video. I know I've seen so many comments of you talking about with Dying Light 2 on how it's one of your favorite games out there. Some people don't like it as well. Yes, I do know that I did a brand new game at the beginning of the year. So I decided again because I don't want to do the community maps all the time because it'll get very repetitive for all of you that are watching this video at the moment. So I'm deciding to go and do a new game plus again because I have over 300 hours on this save. Yeah. And yeah, the last time I played Dying Light 2 was the- Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. It hasn't been a while, it's been like, oh, okay, I'll shut up. But anyways, we're gonna go into the new game plus once again and continue off our adventure through Dying Light 2 videos. So anyways, everybody, sit back and relax and let's continue off the adventure once again. Anyways, new game plus. Ah, we're finally back on the new game plus again. It's not like I've already done this already at the beginning of the year, but yeah, okay. Okay, now we're gonna go all the way to the bazaar again, but this time I'm actually going to save the bazaar because the last one I did was absolutely terrible and this game can be so easy over and over man thank god we have new game plus in this bloody game because if we didn't have new game plus i would have lost my place Sandy. but now i want to talk about as well is is dying light 2 actually worth it in 2024 well definitely i would have to say now is 110 percent that this game is worth playing in 2024 it's because of all the new updates that dying light 2 but sorry techland have actually done you will see a completely different game if you compare it to when it first First came out because my god man it was absolutely insane of how different this game is now compared to when it first came out like this old gameplay that i showed a while ago really impressive of what teclan has done over the years to make the game what well, well, basically what it should have when it first came out ah like even the setting in bizarre as well they completely done like everything completely new now and when you look at all the updates as well of what they've done with the game it's honestly insane of what they have actually done on the game it's really good man Man. Like, there's so many videos talking about, like, the improvements of Dying Light. And you can really tell over the years that Techland have put their heart and soul into the game. And it's honestly really good to see companies like that will update their game. You don't get companies doing that anymore. I mean, also including that, we do have the completely new update of the weapons as well. And the complete revamp of, like, the videos that I previously have talked about. So now we've got more content than ever before on Dying Light 2. So if you're going to talk about... Oh, is that it? But when you saw what Dying Light 2 was when it first came out, you'll completely understand why this game has turned out to be well, what it is. And we're back to where we started. Wow, this really feels like deja vu. Well, wow. because it also comes through the actual gameplay itself because Techland have updated like the physics in the game, the weapon balancing, new animations like for like basically when you kill the enemy, do and also updating the zombie characters as well from what they used to be compared to what they are now. It's honestly insane of how much more real these zombies 
zombies look compared to what they used to be. It's very weird to say it's because if I was going back to when I first did my first Dying Light 2 video, it was completely different. And now because they have actually updated and released all the content that they actually promised, it's like saying, oh my god, this game has completely changed. I still know a lot of people still talk about with like Dying Light 1, how it's a better game. I will always agree with that on Dying Light 1 being a better game. But come on, when you compare what Dying Light 2 is now, like it feels better. The whole gameplay just looks two times better now. And it actually feels like a proper zombie game. That's what I like about this. So poor, I'll just kill me, buddy. It's so easy, this game now, man. I mean, when you got New Game Plus as well, it's like, oh, this game is so good. Now, at least everybody has the choice of what you want to play it on because, I mean, this game's released for the Xbox, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series S and X, and PC, which most people play on Duo. So at least you've got the choice of what you want to play on. But at the same time, it would be better if you play on, like, the Xbox Series X and S and, like, PlayStation 5 and PC because you would get the actual proper experience of Dying Light 2. I do know that some people can't afford that, which I understand. So at least you can still play it on, like, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. But if you really want to, like, experience the proper game, yeah, you would have to definitely play on, like, next-gen properly. Because I'm not too sure if DLC 2 is going to be next-gen only. I'm not too sure. I might have to look into that when, eventually, when it does come out. And that's the other thing as well, is that this is not the only content that we're gonna be having in Dying Light 2. We're gonna have more content than ever before in the game. Like, for all the plans that, like, Techland and, I think, like, the CEO or whatever as well, got his name. Like, we're talking about with Dying Light 2 of the future plans and updates and yada yada. Like, it's honestly good to see that when you actually talk to your community and give people updates on what the plans are. Oh, great. I'm gonna kill that guy over there. Sick. And I think you can get this game pretty damn cheap now, I think. I mean, especially for, like, the complete upgrade of the game. Like, my god, man. Now, I also do like how they updated Nighttime now because remember when it first came out when Nighttime was just bloody stupid how you only had screamers only? And now, through what I've uploaded on my other videos, if you guys want to check out those other videos, you can. But now, with the Nighttime mode, god, like, completely just revamped the entire Nighttime and made it two times harder now. I know some people didn't like it, but I'm just like, how can you not like that? Like, you got Volatiles now, what Dying Light 1 used to be. And overall, man, like, Nighttime is just so much more better. Also, including that Nightman mode, which was a pain in the freaking ass. Because even now, what you can see with my character here, you can still keep leveling up your character on the right with the, with basically the legend levels as what they call it in the game. Because you got the different outfits every time that you level up a certain one. Which is good as well. At least you can keep playing the game, upgrading your points so you can get more, well, basically more powerful after you complete off the Pilgrim ones. Because this is the Pilgrim one that you can see here. If you haven't played the game before, you basically got the combat skills and you've got the parkour skills. So once you completely upgrade all of these, you will be so much more better than what you will previously are when you don't play the game, of course. Then you've got the immunity at the bottom and you can upgrade that by basically getting inhibitors around the map. As you can see there, I've got basically almost all of them except two of them for the new game, goddammit. It's also really good as well because you can like max up your health or your stamina. But once you're done with the Pilgrim, you can work on the upgrade points as what you can see here. So at least this game is replayable all the time. You can go back to the new game, keep leveling up over and over. Then you can go and play with your fans and keep leveling up. It's really up to you on how you want to play the game. And that's what I like about with these games where they got New Game Plus. At least you can keep playing it, leveling up, and just get better at the game. And I also like now how they've like updated like different cutscenes, like what Techland were like teasing when they did the complete like upgrade version of the game. Hang on, what was it called again? Hang on. Yeah, basically what this is right here. They have really like redeemed themselves on the quality of what the game is now. And I know some people might not want to play it because it's a zombie game. Or zombie games don't really do that well, yada yada. At least some people have the understanding of it. I mean, I can't be the only person. I mean, so many people have already talked about Dying Light 2 and why it's, it's considered a much more better game than what it used to be. But I think the one thing that makes me just like really happy for Dying Light 2 is how this game feels more real now, like in the open world. It doesn't feel like just a bootleg version of like when like Cyberpunk came out. Remember when that first came out? Like it feels more real. How like people are trying their best to survive. Survive. So I think that's why I just really enjoy like the whole campaign that Dying Light 2 has done now. I mean, there's so many other things that I can talk about with the game because because it's like, oh, the night time has gone better, like what I said earlier. You've got more quests than ever before. You've got so many different side missions to do, it's like to save people. You've got weapons in the game now. And it was also like what I was saying with how they add in so much more like side quests as well, is even how they've added in Bloody Ties DLC completely free now. So now you can go and get like the normal edition if you want to and you'll get the complete upgrade version for free and you also get the DLC for free. I mean, how can you say no to that? I mean, the only downside of Dying Light 2 is the store 
more how like if you spend a certain amount you can get free weapons well not really free if you spend that money then you get a free weapon and gold coins and that and it's like it's not really something that they really should do in a single player game even though other companies have done that and yes i do know that this was not the game that Techland had promised i understand where a lot of people were coming from with of them like saying it's not the game that they promised yada yada like it would have been amazing if we could have gotten what Techland did promise also like how Techland are also adding in like different events so you don't always have to play like the same game over and over again and if you do these kind of events you get like free stuff or like free weapons free outfits whatever they want to do in the game really and i can really tell that the community really enjoy those events because my god man like the, every time like they do like a certain community goal it gets beaten with like a week or something it's insane of what they do man so i know most of you know that i love dying light 2 like with all my heart i absolutely love this game and i really hope that a lot of people that are watching this video can give this game a chance if you're getting sick and tired of all these newer games that are coming out if you give dying light 2 a chance you actually might really enjoy it this video is not sponsored or anything this is truly coming from me on why i really enjoy playing dying light 2 also like what i said earlier if you guys want to check out all those other dying light 2 videos on my channel there'll be a complete list of all the dying light 2 videos and also if you guys want to let me know down the comments down below on why you're playing dying light 2 or you enjoy dying light 2 or you don't yada yada let me know down the comments down below because i'm really interested on what a lot of people will like talk about with their opinions on dying light 2 and if, like what they like don't like it's really interesting to be honest ah, what a lovely time to be around here oh hi well everybody that is going to be the video for today thank you all so much for watching my video about dying light 2 and why i'm still playing it in 2024 i really do appreciate it but don't worry this is not going to be my final content for dying light 2 because we got so much more content on the way for dying light 2 even number one actually as well but if you guys have any ideas as well for dying light 2 content let me know down in the comments down below because i read the comments every day so if you guys want to i can't say why not and also if you want to see more content from me make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell because I mean if you hit the bell you get notified every time I upload a video at the same time you do not have to do any of this but if you want to I would really appreciate it and like what I said earlier everybody if you want to check out my other Dying Light 2 content there's a whole playlist on my actual channel which I'll down in the description down below but anyways everybody thank you so much for the love and support besides everybody I'll see you guys in my next video which might be I have no idea anyways I'll talk to you guys later